Good afternoon, everybody. Good to see you. You want to grab a prayer book, if you would be so kind. Let's uh, open it to page 355 of the Book of Common Prayer, and that's where we will begin our worship in just a few moments. Uh, and we'll be using, um, let's see, I am wearing white and I am wearing red. It, it is white because we have a famous person that we are uh, feting today, uh, St. James of Jerusalem. It's not the same James that you hear about as an apostle, James and John, the sons of thunder. Uh, there are actually anywhere between three and eight Jameses mentioned in your New Testament if you're keeping count at home. Uh, this is James, the brother of Jesus, the head of the church in Jerusalem, which we'll get into. But he was martyred, and so I'm also wearing red. So there you go. That's where the color's from. Uh, 355 is where we'll begin. We've got a couple readers. Uh, I want to say that, um, David, you're doing... Uh, the, the, the first reading from the book of Acts, Felicity, um, I'll make sure she's okay to do Psalm 1, and then Jan, you're going to do our reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, which is great. Uh, so James of Jerusalem, brother of Jesus, we'll get into him in a little bit, um, but the idea is that even the kin of Jesus, uh, when they first noted who he was, may have had trouble believing him, um, but they eventually did, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, so I invite you to take a few moments to uh, center yourselves, uh, call to mind uh, what needs to be called to mind as we come before the Lord to worship and to learn and to praise. Thanks for being with us. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The top of page 356, glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. If you are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that following the example of your servant James the Just, brother of our Lord, your 
Your church may give itself continually to prayer and to the reconciliation of all who are at variance and enmity. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> the first lesson is from the book of Acts, 15th chapter. The, um, the prophet that's referred to is Amos. All the apostles and elders kept silence and listened to Barnabas and Paul as they told of all the signs and wonders that God had done through them among the Gentiles. After they finished speaking, James replied, my brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related from God, has related how God first looked favorably on the Gentiles to take from among them a people for his name. This agrees with the words of the prophets as it is written, after this I will return and I will rebuild the dwelling of David which has fallen from its ruins I will rebuild it and I will set it up so that all other peoples may seek the Lord even all the Gentiles over whom my name has been called thus says the Lord who has been making these things known from long ago Therefore, I have reached the decision that we should not trouble those Gentiles who are returning to God, but we should write to them to abstain only from things polluted by idols or from fornication and from whatever has been strangled and from blood. For in every city for generations past, Moses has had those who proclaim him, for he has been read aloud every Sabbath in the synagogues. Then the apostles and the elders, with the consent of the whole church, decided to choose from them among their members and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Please join me as we pray Psalm 1 alternately by whole verse, I mean by half verse. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes. Nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked is doomed. Our second reading is from the first book of Corinthians. I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which you stand, through which you also are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, although some have died. Then he appeared to James, than to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. 
On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we can proclaim that you have come to believe. May your words dwell in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. Saw him rise again. 
And so what is a resurrection but an example of God's power that evil doesn't win, right? Because all the evil forces in the world try to kill him. And God said, no, that's not going to happen, not on my watch. But that good wins out of, out of, out of, you know, out of evil. Um, the resurrection completely changed the attitudes of these disciples. They were cowering when they were leaving, leaving the place until the resurrection come with the Spirit, and all of a sudden they were going out to get themselves killed, right? Um, and so it's the same boldness that I pray for on this feast, that I would be so convinced of Christ's work in the world that I would invest myself equally. What does that look like? That's what we're trying to figure out. What's it look like for us to leave everything and follow? I'm not going to leave everything because all my kids are on welfare, right? You've got to balance these things and how we're going to be generous people on how we're going to really be partakers of eternal life, which are people who don't hoard. We don't get our best life by hoarding it all. We get our best life by giving it away. And this is why I think it's so important for the church at this time in the political season to proclaim loudly the Lordship of Jesus, who gave it away, and who said, you go first. The gospel is not about you go first. The gospel is not about we're going to make a great country. We're going to make a great government. The, the, the gospel is about our greatness is found in our service. And that by serving and putting the interests of others first, we will then find eternal life. And so the example of Jesus, because that's the guy, he's the guy who did it. He says, through love and sacrifice, you can win. And everyone said, no, you're going to get crucified, sorry. And you sure not, it's through love and sacrifice. So how are we going to make that work for us? How are we going to continue to abide that love and sacrifice, emulating that resurrection that changed Jesus' life so that it might change ours as well? Amen. Amen. Together, together, our affirmation of faith. We believe in God, whose love is the source of all life and the desire of our lives, whose love was given a human face in Jesus of Nazareth, whose love was crucified by the evil that wants to enslave us all, is our glorious promise of freedom. Therefore, though we are sometimes fearful and doubting, we trust in God, and in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit ourselves to the service of others, to seek justice, and to live in peace, to care for the earth, and to share the common wealth of God's goodness, to live in the freedom of forgiveness, and in the power of the spirit of love, and in the company of the faithful, to be the church, for the glory of God. Amen. Please join me on page 387 of our Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. I'm thankful that uh, the medical staff is walking through this shoulder tree. Oh. 
Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer, and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, for our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Some announcements. We can we can't wait to hear them. <laughs> After our ten o'clock service on Sunday, we will have some pumpkin carving in the social hall. So please come for that. Did you see a cocktail party? A cocktail party? Pumpkin <laughs> carving. <laughs> pumpkin <laughs> carving. <laughs> We hear what we want to hear, don't That's we, right. yeah. <laughs> Some of us could provide cocktails. <laughs> we also have the books that were, the book that we're going to be discussing by um, Reverend William Barber. Yep, the Reverend Dr. William Barber. We still have some left in the uh, And that book discussion will take place the first Sunday in December. Yes. With. Um, I do foresight. Dr. Ivy. Yes. And, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting. Well, we've got the installation of the presiding bishop. Oh, right? yes. Right. And we will be doing a watch party with the bishop for that. Okay. Yes, Where is the party at? It's going to be in the parish hall. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if it's going to be here or someplace since the bishop was Yeah, and, and I want to say, did you have something said that I, if there are quilters there or something like that, we'll just do it here? No, no, no. It's, yeah, but it is, uh, if there's something else going on, is what I'm saying, uh, then we'll do it here. Right? It will be, it's, in the it's in the building, yeah, you won't miss it here. And from what I understand, it starts like at 9.30, mm -hmm. 
apparently it's like the Super Bowl, they have the pregame. So uh, there will be all kinds of things leading up to the 11 o'clock service. I'm not sure how much of that will participate in. Um, and I don't know how many people get it, you know, but we'll just see. Why well, we go to the deanery? So it would be more people than us. And the bishop will be there. She's always a celebrity draw. Yes. We're supposed to come at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is, um, is the actual service. And um, look, look for your bulletins the week before. And we'll, I'll talk with the bishop. She's a bit of a late planner. And see when she wants to. Uh, when she wants to show up. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We should show up. And those are announcements. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Listen, thank you. I'd like to please stand. And we will be using um, uh, this day, uh, University Prayer B. So uh, you can. Uh, did you guys like C last time when we did yes. C? Did you like that? Do you want to use C um, again? You know, we could go really far out. I don't think we've ever done D. Um, there is one called D. Um, it is pretty long. Yeah, that one is. Yeah, the D includes like the prayers of the people. I mean, that one's a really long one. That's for singing. You guys don't want to hear me do that. So uh, let's do C then. Uh, C is on page 369. Thank you. 369 of the prayer book. Does that sound okay, you guys? Sure does. C it is. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. From the final elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again, you called us to return through prophets and sages who revealed your righteous law, and in the fulfillment of time, you sent your only son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law. To open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us. By his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope to proclaim with them your glory in their unending kingdom. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine. He gave thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you this sacrifice of thanksgiving, we celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumptions to coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this holy communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your Church, give honor and glory and worship from generation to generation. Amen. Amen.
And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us eat the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God, the people of God, take them in remembrance of Christ died for you, and feed unto your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Let's turn to page 365 for our post communion prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are alive and working in the world. We give you thanks. We ask for your courage. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and be with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's awesome. 